here for the week two press conference, uh, Auburn week with defensive coordinator, coordinator, inside linebacker coach Peter Sermon. We'll go ahead and get started with questions, and we'll start with Steve Croner from the SF Chronicle. Hey Peter, uh, when we talked a couple weeks ago about uh, Brett Johnson, I, I asked you, you know, you obviously have a lot of things going on during a game, but would you take a moment kind of to appreciate Brett being on the field for the first time in almost three years? Did you take a moment uh, on Saturday to to let that soak in, or did you really not have enough time to do so? No, we did. We did. You know, it was uh, Coach Browning and myself visited a little about it and, and uh, just, uh, you know, kind of uh, dapped up uh, Brett uh, when he was walking back in from uh, pregame. And uh, it's not a time, and as you guys uh, know Brett, Brett is not uh, uh, the most vocal guy, so we're not going to sit there and, and hug it out and, uh, you know, kind of reminisce about what, what he's been through. But I think some of the – just the, the – you know the acknowledgement. You know, just to dap him up and and uh, let him know that we're excited for him, and and then for him to get out there. I think he had about 17 snaps, 16, 17 snaps. One of them might have been a kneel. Uh, you know, we forced two holding penalties, which are are, are really big in terms of, of what it does to a drive. So uh, I, I think it's a, a great first step of of getting him back acclimated and getting him back um, on the field every every game. And a quick follow up. He said 17 snaps. You, you envision he'll have more snaps Saturday night. I think as as he continues to to communicate with Coach Browning and the medical staff on on what his uh, tolerance is, and, and you know, uh, Steve, that might that might change, um, you know, through the duration of the season. So it's really, uh, you know, probably something a little more day to day, week to week on on what his capacity is and how he's feeling, and in uh, probably some other circumstances. Fair enough. All right, we'll go to Jeff Ferrado from Cal Sports Report. Here. Uh... We saw Auburn in its opener use two quarterbacks, Peyton Thorne, appears to be more the passer, and uh, and then Robbie Ashford, who was really quite effective as a runner in the red zone. What were your impressions of those two guys, and how do you prepare for two guys who are seemingly kind of, quite a bit different? Well, the first thing is they're both very talented. Uh, you know, they, they both have really talented arms. Uh, you know, they utilized them a little bit uh, differently in what the play is called. Uh, by design, but you know they're both extremely talented. Uh, throw the ball well. Uh, Robbie Ashford is uh, an elite type of athlete, uh, which is concerning running and throwing the ball. I think he ended up running for three touchdowns, I believe, uh, and he's just a, a phenomenal athlete. Um, but you know, offensively, they're going to put a bunch of really good athletes out there. Offensively, the offensive line they've rotated. It looks like about eight or nine different players. Uh, all doing a really effective job, all got good size, good feet. They're going to cover us up. We're going to be very, very disciplined and, and strong at the point of attack. Uh, and they're going to roll through their wideouts, and, and uh, they have a very uh, extensive tight end uh, room, and the running backs are, are um, going to be very effective as well. So we, we, have, uh, we got our hands full this weekend. Thanks. We'll go to Matt Moreno from Rivals. You guys brought in a lot of transfers, a lot of new players this offseason. How do you feel like that group performed overall for you in their first game in your system? It was great for the team to get a win. Uh, I, I, I thought that we played uh, better in the second half. Uh, there were there were really two plays in the first half that uh, I'm extremely frustrated with. Um, so those are the things that uh, we have to improve. You know, we've been talking on these on these zooms for nine months about uh, X pass plays. So that's something that we have to continue to. Um, to address, and it's a it's everybody's pass rush. It's the call. It's the technique. It's everything. So those are things that that uh, you know, unfortunately, do happen. They do happen, um, and I feel a little bit like a like a Scrooge, uh, not being pleased with uh, the entire game. I think they had nine yards in the second half or something. But uh, unfortunately, I, I focus on the things that uh, that I know we can do, and when we fall short on things that we can do, it, it really really bothers me. So um, we just got to keep coaching them up. Um, but overall, I thought uh, the guys executed the plan, uh, you know, with, with some of the, the tweaks and the adjustments and some of the uh, specialties we put in for the, uh, for the week. Uh, overall, I thought the tackling uh, was, was pretty darn good. Uh, not a lot of uh, blatant missed tackles. So uh, it's a step in the right direction, uh, but there's still significant improvement to be had. All right, we'll jump over to Thomas Dunn from Right for California. Uh, good morning, Peter. Uh, you mentioned how the defense executed pretty well, especially like over the course of the game. How much more, if at all, of a benchmark test is it coming into this week for your personnel? Uh, it, 
it's immense. Uh, it is going to be a tremendous uh, increase in, in what we have to do uh, versus the, the style of play, the variety of play. Uh, in, the, in the system that we played last week, there's not a ton of variety of play, uh, not, a, not a, a great variety of personnel groupings, uh, but we're expecting a, a couple different personnel groupings. Uh, and, you know, kind of within those personnel groupings, you're going to feel uh, you know, a little different flavor, I think, of what they're doing in 11 and 12. Uh, some of the formations they're building, some of the, uh, you know, kind of the, the cadence of the plays uh, that they're building. So uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a real challenge for us. Thank you.